Hello everyone, welcome to the short videos where we talk about SAN concepts. Today's topic is Fiber Channel Protocol or FCB. Fiber Channel is the original SAN protocol. It's been around for more than 20 years and is still a very popular storage protocol. Fiber Channel is different than Ethernet on every level of protocol stack and is dedicated to storage traffic only and not to data traffic. When we are using Fiber Channel, it uses FCP, that is Fiber Channel Protocol, which is used to send SCSI commands over Fiber Channel Network. And the SCSI commands are controlling the reads and writes and going through the disk at a very low level. One of the reasons why Fiber Channel is still popular today is because it's a very stable and reliable protocol. It's lossless, unlike TCP and UDP. The supported bandwidths are 4 gig, 8 gig, 16, 32 gig, and 64 gig, which is available on the latest hardware. Now, 128 gig is also paving its way. So, let's see with this example how the fiber channel SAN network works. To remind you again, SC SAN network uses separate physical infrastructure. It cannot run over an Ethernet network. It's completely different. It's the fiber channel network. You see here on server one, it's got fiber channel HBA. HBA is the host bus adapter. It's basically an equivalent of NIC network interface card that is connected with fiber channel cable to a fiber channel switch. And then to the storage system, which also has its fiber channel HPS. And all of this together forms a fiber channel fabric island. The addressing that is used by a fiber channel is called worldwide names or WWNs. A different WWPN or worldwide port names are assigned to every single port on a node or what you call a switch. So multiport HBA will have different WWPNs on each port. These are equivalent to MAC addresses in the Ethernet world. All the endpoints of the storage fiber channel fabric needs WWPNs to communicate with each other. 